G'day everyone, Mr Gray here and today I'm going to be reading Steve Parrish's ABC of Australian Wildlife. It's published by Nature Kids. A is for ant. Australian ants are always active. B is for bilby. Beautiful bilbies are burrowing bandicoots. C is for cockatoo. Cockatoos are crowned with colourful crests. D is for dolphin. Dolphins dive down deep. E is for eagle. Eagles have excellent eyesight. F is for frog. Frogs frequently find flies for food. G is for goanna. Goannas grab geckos to gulp and gobble. H is for honey eater. Some honey eaters hover like honey, hummingbirds. I is for ibis. An ibis is interested in insects. And J is for jabberoo. Jabberoos jab, jerk and jump. K is for koala. Kids are keen to keep koalas safe. L is for lorikeet. Lots of lovely lorikeets land near leaves. M is for mouse. A mouse munches many meals. N is for numbat. Numbats nap in nests at night. O is for owl. Owls are not often observed out in the open. P is for possum. This possum pauses by pretty petals. Q is for quoll. Cold quolls quiver quietly. R is for rosella. Rowdy rosellas race around the rainforest. S is for seal. This slippery seal scratches some sandy skin. T is for turtle. Tiny turtles travel to the tropics. U is for Ulysses butterfly. The unusual Ulysses butterfly balances upon a useful flower. V is for velvet gecko. Velvet geckos vanish under leaves. W is for wallaby. Wide-eyed wallabies wander warily. X is for x-ray painting. Examine excellent examples of x-ray painting. Y is for yellow-billed spoonbill. Yellow-billed spoonbills eat young yabbies. And Z is for zebrafish. Zebrafish zigzag with zeal and zest. Thanks, guys.